Welcome to Drawing Better Than Twine 2.6. In this video, we're going to continue learning about the go-to macro and how we can use it to create the same effect of forcing passage transitions within a story. So in a previous video, in a previous video, we looked at how the go-to macro can be paired with other macros. We saw how the link macro by itself has the ability to create a passive transition. However, when we pair it with the go-to macro, or we pair the go-to macro with the if macro, we can remove interactivity by creating a forced passage transition within a story. So let's continue working with the link macro and the go-to macro to do something a little unusual. So we've seen previously how we can create links between passages, and when we're editing in Twine, we would see those visual connections between those passages. However, with the go-to macro, and even with the link macro by itself, we can create a story where there are no visual connections. However, there's still transitions between passages. And we're doing this using our knowledge of the go-to and link macros working together. Again, the link macro will do this, but we can combine it with the go-to macro to call something to go to another passage immediately. So let's look at a somewhat silly and unusual example where we have multiple passages, we will be moving between those passages, and yet we have no visual connections. We are doing movement between passages using only macros, no explicit links or visual connections within the Twine editor. So notice right here it says you approach the area with caution and you see multiple places you can visit. I'm immediately setting the current location to beginning, and this will be important as I progress through these passages. You will see each passage has its own value for current location for a reason that will make sense as we talk about it. And then notice right here I'm combining the link macro with the go to macro. Now again we can use the link macro by itself to kind of do the same thing. We can present text to a reader, lighthouse, and then we could if I wanted to also include a passage transition to lighthouse. But I'm combining it with the go to macro to achieve a certain effect here. Finally at the bottom we have the current location along with the value current location. Now, if I move from start over to lighthouse, you'll see the same code repeated again. We have the current location, this time set the lighthouse, a little information for the reader, some exposition about where we are, same exact code again, and then again the current location. And you'll see this also for lighthouse, for town, and also for field. So this is town, and field looks exactly the same. Now, I'm going to go ahead and play this story so we can see this kind of unusual nature and use of the go to macro in this way. So, we approach the area of to see multiple places you can visit. So, we're at start. Let's go to lighthouse. We're now at lighthouse. Let's go to town. Now we're at town. Let's go to field. Or lighthouse, or town, or field. Notice in each case, I'm moving between these different passages, but there are no visual links. So one of the ways we can use our knowledge of various macros within SugarCube, and particularly the go-to macro, is again we can force a passive transition, or another way to think about it is we can remove interactivity if we want to do that with the go-to macro. Previously when I looked at the go-to macro and introduced it, we saw that one of its possible use cases is where we have some type of range or a threshold, when lives run out, when health runs out, go to another passage. We can also do it in this way, in that when the reader clicks on something, we immediately go to that passage. And notice we're navigating around a space. Now again, when we saw it over here, there were no visual connections. We're just using macros to move ourselves around, and again, we could use the link macro to do this. But this particular example is Again, embracing the idea that we can start to use macros kind of programmatically through programming to embrace the existing starting knowledge we had with SugarCube. One of the things I introduced when we first started doing videos on SugarCube is how we can create links and passages by using the two opening and two closing square brackets to create links between passages. Now we know, however, that especially with the interactive macros that we already know how to use, link its sister macros, link prepend, link append, and link replace, as well as text box, text area, link box, number box, and check box, that we can provide lots of interactivity, but we can also, again, take it away using the go-to macro. Based on all this knowledge of these macros, we can 
do forced passage transitions, or if we want to, completely avoid making links altogether, and use our existing knowledge of macros to embrace a way of writing passages that completely use programming, or use macros within SugarCube to achieve different programming effects, to then move around a story. So a somewhat silly example to make an existing point. We know how to make links, and we know how to use passages. But now, we know how to make lots of interactivity using a number of different macros. We also know that using those macros, the link macro and its sister macros, as well as now with the go-to macro, that we can move around a story without those explicit links. We don't, know, don't need those visual connections. At the same time, when we do that approach, we need to be made aware of a fact that this example points out, that there won't be those visual connections. So we can start to create much more complex interactive stories using lots of interactive macros I've now covered in this video series, as well as now with the go-to macro. But we need to be made aware that the more we sort of embrace additional interactivity and especially more ways to move around a story, link macros, go-to macros, sister macros, link append, link replace, and link append, prepend and append, that we can start to move around in a story without those visual connections. Thanks for watching.